is this where you want your life to be next year? If the answer is no, then join me as I change the perspective of my life within the next four months. And in this video, I am laying down the foundation work. I am breaking it down for myself and for you. And I'm literally just taking you guys along with me on my creative journey. So, so anytime I've made a major move, whether that was from Miami to Texas, from Texas to New York, New York to Cali, Cali to Germany, many of those times, a lot of those were written, a lot of those were dreams. And I normally would write things just so that I could see them a bit more clearer, get them out my head, and just kind of like put it all out there in the world, you know, in a way that I can see it every day, I can read it, I can affirm myself, I can remind myself for what the reason is. So here, right now my apartment is completely empty. It is bare. So I took advantage and got some like uh, drawers, um, sheets from Ikea actually. And this is actually paper for kids to paint on and whatever, but I decided to take, I bought some and I'm just like, you know what, let's tape it to the wall. Let's write down the vision, make it plain and let's make it work. Let's get back to work because I kind of felt like I was a bit, um, I've been a bit lazy and I know I haven't. But in the quote earlier, I'm sure you guys have time to read it and I have it at the end as well. It basically, I just basically one morning I woke up and I was just like, is this where you want your, to see yourself next year? Like where you are mentally, financially, spiritually, physically, like, is this where I want to see myself? And the answer was no. And so I decided to like, you know what you have, well, you have to change your daily habits and the things that you do daily in order to change that. You know, and I know a lot of us have goals and a lot of us have, you know, these mantras or manifestations and all this other stuff. And I mean, obviously outside of just writing it down, you have to pray about it. You have to work for it. You have to believe that it's already yours in order to see it. And so that's what we're doing. So I am putting up this paper right now. It's a blank canvas. And by the end of this year, I look forward to checking off so many of the things that I've written on there. And even if I didn't check off everything, this for me, these next hundred plus some odd days, these next four months for me, what it's gonna look like for me is basically, I'm not looking for perfection, I'm looking for momentum. I'm gonna repeat that again, because that's a word right there. I am not looking for perfection, I'm looking for momentum. Because I know that when I walk into 2024, it's going to be completely different. And so um, I actually did this August 18th. And so at the end, you guys will see how many days until 2024, which is 136. And as of today, as I'm recording, it's August 20th. So that's 134 days left in 2023. And so whatever that looks like for you, like if you're okay with your life right now and with what's going on, you know what? Go ahead, you can skip this video. However, for anyone that's looking to change their life or, you know, do some small changes, join the journey, like come on with me and fill this canvas up. You know, what are some things that you want to see before the next year or what are some things that you want to at least start? Now, I'm not trying to, I'm not going to put some bogus goal of, oh, get this or, uh, you know what though? Go ahead and write that bogus goal. And I think a lot of what we see in our lives, a lot of how we achieve things is a lot, is basically how we speak to ourselves. And starting today, we are speaking to ourselves with confidence, with abundance, with a wealthy mindset, with love. Cause you know, who else can do it better but than you? And so as y'all see, like I've written down one through 136 and uh, today was day two. And just so that I can have a ticker so I can swipe off every day. And um, starting tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to write exactly the basis of the thing. For example, you know, doing physical activity for 30 minutes a day, every day except Sunday, <laughs> for me, for now at least. And that's anything from yoga to dancing, if you want to take a walk, anything that you enjoy. Because what I've learned is that when you enjoy, you do it more. Um, and then also reading a book for 15 minutes. I'll start with 15 minute increments and then maybe move on. You know, I don't want to create a goal that's not realistic for what in my lifestyle, what that looks like. You know, and if I know that I work from, for example, 9 to 
I can, and if I know that within the week, I can create my schedule based off of that. Let's say I wake up at six o'clock, or if I'm not a morning person, I'll wake up, just go to work, and after work, I do what I need to do. And as you can see, I actually messed up this count. I, I, I was frustrated. I messed up the count, and I just kind of like started over. I tossed it, and don't be afraid to start over. That's another key thing. I know a lot of times in creating goals, you kind of like have this, we kind of like set ourselves up for failure when we do things too fast or we don't think, think them through. So I redid it and I did it correctly. And this is what it looks like um, as of today. And yeah, I'm excited. And I hope you guys join me on this journey. And if you guys don't, see you at the end. Um, <laughs> see you at the end of 2023. And I look forward to it. I really do look forward to it. And I'm challenging myself. And here's the quote again. Um, that I wrote to myself. This was at 11 in the morning um, on 25th of July. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Ciao.